Yeah. Oh, you know why it's awesome? Why's that? Because it's JDM. Goddamn right. It's made in Japan. Alright, so we're gonna reflash the map on the car right now to the stage two. So Kevin's gonna go back down to those little, that white with the green arrow, and then he's gonna hit enter for tune. I don't know if you guys can see this. Then he's gonna go change the map, and you'll have a list of maps to scroll through after you hit reflash. Do not hit real time because if you hit real time, that's basically only gonna be a temporary map, and once you restart your car, it will go back to the original map that you had loaded. So we'll hit reflash. Then we're just gonna scroll down to the map that we altered earlier. So stage two, ACN, and then we added TGV to the uh, description. And we're basically gonna alter this map just depending on what uh, ECU codes pop up for the uh, check engine lights. So we'll do that. I'm gonna reflash. Now when you're reflashing now, it usually only takes around 30 to 40 seconds. So it'll just say, do you have a charged battery? So we'll hit enter. Now, real quick, we forgot, to, well, we actually didn't forget. We were wondering if we did have to reconnect the green connectors in doing this with the cob loaded. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just reconnect those green connectors below the dash real quick. And then we can reflash this. So it gave us that little connect the green connector screen. And right after we plugged those in, it just started reflashing. So right now we're getting the percentage. We're going up 12, 13, 14, 15. Scan forward on this, but this usually takes around 30 to 40 seconds. Yeah, or get a new V3 for seven. All right, so now we wanna go ahead and uh, disconnect the green connectors down below the dash. So basically right now we're just kind of going through and uh, letting these uh, check engine light comes up, come up, and then we're disabling them as we go. So we're gonna disable these two more codes in here. This is a, uh, what is it, P2011 and P2008. So we're gonna go ahead and disable those codes. These all have to do with the TGV deletes. So this is, if you don't have that on your car, it's not gonna be anything you have to modify on the map. It should just work, no issues, and you shouldn't have any CELs. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and disable these, that way you can get this car running good. All right, so we, we just went in and we just unchecked those two codes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll um, connect the access port back up to the computer and um, upload that map back to it and reflash and then we'll start up the car again and see if we can get these CELs to go away. Yeah. All right, so we're going back for round two of uh, starting this up and doing a reflash. So we just edited the map in the uh, access port race tuner software. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, reflash it real quick. So we gotta go ahead and uh, reconnect those green little connectors underneath the dash and then we'll reflash our new uh, edited map. But it'll sound quite a bit more beefy once the uh, the new cat catted downpipe goes on.